Yo what's up guys, so a few days ago I received a package from sunfounder.com, they sent me their Raspad 3 to unbox and review it. Raspad is a device that can convert your Raspberry Pi into a tablet. So let's unbox it. So first of all we have an assembly guide, protective foam, then the rest pad itself. Now let us see what else we have. Ok so we got a power adapter, a screwdriver, a power cord and some stuff that we need to install Raspberry Pi. So this is the rest pad. It comes with 10.1 inches IPS touchscreen display and built-in rechargeable battery. On this side we have battery indication, power, volume and brightness button and a micro SD card slot. Moving to the another side we have Ethernet port, 3 USB 3.0 port, a full size HDMI, a headphone jack and DC input. And this is how it looks from the back. Here we have dual speakers. On the top we can access the GPIO pin with the ribbon cable. So now we have to install the Raspberry Pi board into it. It doesn't come with the Raspberry Pi board, you have to buy it separately or if you have one you can use that. After removing the back plate we can see the dual speakers, main board, battery pack and a breakout board. So guys, suddenly I realized that the Raspberry Pi that I have is a Raspberry Pi 3 which is not compatible with this device. So I ordered a new Raspberry Pi 4. The assembly process is very straightforward, pretty much everyone can do that by following the instructions. So now our S-pad is ready to use, we just have to insert the micro SD card in which we have installed the OS. Currently I am using the Raspbian with the Raspad launcher. The touchscreen works great with this OS, the display quality is very good and bright. The performance of this device is completely depends on your Raspberry Pi board. You can do pretty much anything with this device because it supports so many operating systems. You can use it for programming, streaming, retro gaming and more. You can also convert it into an Android or Windows tablet. In my case, I will use Octaprint to control my 3D printer. This is the Cruelty Ender 5. I am using this printer for almost 2 years and its display is not working correctly from past few days. So I designed and printed these brackets to mount the rest pad on it.
Okay guys, as you can see I have installed the Octa Dash and print on the rest pad. Now I can control this printer with the rest pad or from my computer remotely. This device allow me to use advanced features that this printer doesn't have like automatic filament load, baby steps and more by adding the new plugins to the Octa Print. So that's pretty much for it. If you are interested and want to know more about the rest pad, you can check out their website link in the description box. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.